Mr. B here. Carbon has the ability to form millions of different compounds. This is due to the fact that carbon atoms may bond with each other. In this video, I will explain how to identify and name simple aliphatic hydrocarbon compounds. Let's begin with a class of hydrocarbon that contains only single bonds. These are known as the alkenes. All alkene compounds will follow this general formula. CnH2n plus 2, where n represents the number of carbon atoms. This is an example of a chemical formula for an alkene. This alkene contains seven carbon atoms. Therefore, if C is seven, then H is two times seven, which is 14, plus two, which is 16. This compound is known as heptane. To write the structural formula for heptane, simply write seven carbon atoms connected by covalent bonds. Since carbon is an element or an atom that will form four bonds, in addition to the carbon to carbon bond, there must be carbon to hydrogen bonds. In this example, this compound contains all single bonds. Therefore, Heptane is an alkane. To write a condensed formula for this compound, simply copy the structural formula. CH3, CH2, 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 and finally CH3. The alkenes are hydrocarbon compounds that contain double bonds. Because these compounds contain double bonds, these are known as unsaturated hydrocarbons. This is an example of an alkene known as hexene. 
if a hydrocarbon compound contains six carbon atoms, the prefix is hex. The fact that this compound contains a double bond means that the suffix is in. Therefore, this compound is some type of hexene. It is necessary to assign a number to the location of the double bond. In this case, the double bond is located after the 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, third carbon. Should this double bond be located behind this carbon, then this would be called 2 hexene. By rule, the location of the double bond must be assigned the lowest possible number. The fact that this double bond is in the middle of the compound means that numbering may begin from the left or the right. To write the condensed formula for this compound, simply copy the structural formula. CH3, CH2, CH, 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 two and C H three. In alkene compounds, carbons that are connected by single bonds are free to rotate about that bond. However, the carbons connected by the double covalent bond are locked in their positions. In other words, this carbon may rotate. This carbon cannot. Because a double bond exists between carbons 3 and 4, or 3 and 4, the hydrogens are also locked in their positions. In other words, in this particular compound, this hydrogen will always be written above the carbon and this hydrogen will always be written below the carbon. Because these hydrogens are locked in position on opposite sides of the carbon chain, this is known as a trans 3 hexene. If the hydrogen atoms were locked on the same side of the car carbon chain, either up or down, then that compound will be known as a cis 3 hexene. Hydrocarbon compounds containing triple bonds belong to a class of compounds known as the alkynes. All alkyne compounds will fit the following general formula. CnH2n minus 2. This is an example of the chemical formula for an alkyne known as pentyne. In this case, n is equal to 5. Therefore, H must equal 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 2, which is 8. To write the structural formula for this compound, simply write 5 carbons in a row, connected by single bonds, where 2 carbons are connected by a triple bond. This triple bond is behind the first carbon. Therefore, this particular compound what is known as 1-pentyne. 
if the triple bond were located behind the second carbon, the compound would be called 2-pentyl. If the triple bond were located behind the third carbon, then counting carbons would begin from the right. If the triple bond was located behind the third carbon from the left, then it's behind the second carbon from the right. Therefore, that compound would be known as 2-pentyl. To write the condensed formula for this compound, simply copy the structural formula. Aliphatic hydrocarbons may also produce a number of branch chain isomers. For example, 3-methylpentane is an isomer of the straight chain hydrocarbon hexane. 2-2-dimethylbutane and 1-3-dimethylbutane are also isomers of hexane. The alkenes may produce a number of structural isomers. For example, one hexene is a structural isomer of three hexene. The alkenes will also form a number of geometric isomers. For example, this compound is called trans. 2,3-dimethyl-2-butene. A geometric isomer of this compound would be this one, where now both alkyl groups are on the same side of the carbon chain. Therefore, this compound is called cis 2,3-dimethyl-2-butene. When carbon chains contain substituent groups, such as a halogen, the location of the halogen must be indicated. For example, this compound has a chlorine connected to carbon 1. Therefore, this compound is called 1-chloropentane, since the carbon chain contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon atoms. This compound also contains five carbon atoms, but two bromines are connected to the same carbon. This compound is called 2,2-dibromopentane. In the last example, which cannot exist due to steric constraints, an iodine is connected to each carbon atom. This compound would be called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Penta iodo. Pentane. 